Okay, in this episode we're going to be looking at how to make a scrolled swept blend, as can be seen on the screen. So this is going to be four circles that are swept around 120 degrees. It looks very complicated, but essentially all it's going to be is four circles around a PCD circle in the middle, all 100 mil. So let's get straight into how we're going to produce it. So first of all, as with all these things in Creo, it doesn't want to know the detail first, it wants to know the path. So we're going to sketch on the front plane. And draw a line for the path. Modify that, set it to 1000. Then once we're happy with that, we're going to go to our sweat blend. Now, at one end, section one, we're going to sketch, and we're going to put it in construction line mode. Do a circle. Make sure the size is set of that to 100 mil. Most importantly, make sure we come out of construction mode now. And then draw circles that go from the quadrants to the center. Then when they're all in place, they're obviously all going to be 100 mil because of where they make contact. Then if we delete segment, and delete these segments we're left with our basic shape there and our origin arrow there that's where the the sweat blend is going to start from is its datum point once we're happy with that one we've got to draw our next one in so we accept that insert a new section sketch on the section as you can see that's at the top of the line and we draw the same shape again in construction mode Make sure that's 100 mil, and then out of construction mode, circle at the quadrants. And the same trimming as before, so all these bits on the inside. and accept and you can see there it's drawn just a column straight up but there is this option here to rotate now the maximum angle it allows you to rotate is 120 after that you really just need to alter the start points which will allow it to rotate further but put 120 and press enter you can see there that it's actually put a twist onto it when you're happy with that, press OK. And there it is. To get it how we got it to look in the original photo, if we change the appearance to something like chrome, choose chrome plate, click on everything. Let's go through that again. Or the brush, click on everything, middle click, it's there. And if we hit render now, we see it's rendered it with a chrome reflective finish. But one of the things this tells us about the path, we see the path there when we highlight the path, that green line through the middle. If we were to go and edit that now, it will apply that to the rest of the model. So rather than being a line, if I want it to be an arc from here to here just a subtle arc 
to define it. That's okay. Okay. And let's apply that twist to our arc. Okay, that's the scrolled swept blend.